here is a finished bowl of my fish tea or fish soup stay tuned shells and flavor cooking welcome 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 firstly I want to send a big shout out to untouchable Gracie Gracie nation and her subscribers where some of her subscribers have subscribed to my youtube channel Gracie big up yourself thank you again we're here to help one another and i greatly greatly appreciate so welcome all the new subscribers you're not seeing my face because my hair is not done i have a cap on here i am i have a cap on and i'm about to cook up a quick little fish soup in jamaica we call it fish tea so i'll be doing a quick video this is more like a vegetable soup it's not a heavy soup like chicken soup it's a very light soup so i'll show you all my ingredients so here i have a snapper fish which i seasoned with a little salt fish seasoning i'll be trying to use a different lighting hopefully let me change it there you go brighter so i'm using a snapper fish and i seasoned with a little black pepper a little salt a little garlic powder and fish seasoning and on my tray here i will be using a little pumpkin because i want to i'll be using turnip chocho i'll be boiling some onions in this and then as normal we add our escalion green onion and our thyme and or scotch bunny pepper or or hot pepper so for me because it's a fish tea i normally like boil onions in it because it will boil out and it does also add flavor to your soup so here i have my pot with my water and I added a little salt and some pimento greens. I will be adding in my green onions to boil and my veggies to boil. Once it starts boiling, then I'll let you see what I do, which I'll explain to you that I will be adding in my fish. Then I will remove the fish from the pot. Then I will need to pull the meat off, off the fish bone, discard the bone so there is not a lot of bone in it. So you know that big long bone that's in the middle, I will be removing that and the little side bones that I was not able to like cut off so stay tuned while this boil and I'll show you once I add my fish once it starts boiling because the fish doesn't take a long while to cook and you don't want your fish getting too soft so as soon as I add it and it starts boiling then stay tuned I'll show you what I will be removing from it so I'll allow my veggies to start boiling for i would say a 15 minutes and then i will add my fish in so stay tuned again welcome to all my new subscribers to shells island flavor cooking thank you again gracie for the support if you're not yet subscribed and you're watching i also want to extend a big thank you too and i know that you will soon subscribe stay tuned okay so quickly in the video airs shells island flavor cooking the chef behind all those videos you see on YouTube, here I am. I'm like, let me show my face for 2022. I'm all decked out in a hat. 
and I was just coming in from the gym. So, Aero Shells Island Flavor, the person behind all the cooking. So, I did not remember to say I have some frozen okra. So, I will also be using that in my soup. So, again, I am making a fish tea, or in Jamaica, we call it fish soup with mostly veggies i'll be using a little piece of white yam that i also got in the store in it besides the okra the carrots the turnip the chocho the irish potato i'll be using this in it and i'll be putting some jamaican spinners in it which we call jamaican dumpling it's like cold where i'm at like extra extra cold so a little soup in the cold time jamaica term would say warm up your stomach warm up your belly it's a good thing to have and sometimes you don't want to eat at every meal too you just want something light or something filling so again welcome all my subscribers my new subscribers my old subscribers big up on yourself Continue to give me the love, the support. Continue to help me to increase my subscriber base and also to get my watch hours up. Continue to watch my videos, like the videos, share the videos, leave a comment, and I am always good to respond back to you. Even if I don't respond immediately, I will definitely reach back out to you. So again, thank you and I do hope that you'll enjoy this video and you will also try to make this fish tea at some point. Have a good one and stay tuned. Okay guys, so welcome back. My pot is smelling so, so good. So now I will be adding in my fish into the pot and once it starts boiling, I will be removing the head. Yes. So I'll be dropping in into my pot and then I cover it to boil. Stay tuned. I will show you how I dismantle the fish to get the meat off and to remove the bones. Stay tuned. Then after removing the, the, the meat from the fish bones, then when next you see, I'll be adding in my little yam, my spinners, and I'll be using a fish noodle to help to flavor the pot. Stay tuned. Okay, so it's about like 10 minutes in and I'll be removing the fish, hopefully. So here I remove my fish from my pot and I normally use a knife and I just try to get the bones to the side which are bones that are like really hard to remove and anyway you're still gonna get bone in the soup there is still gonna be bone so for the I, the head, I remove the head. I definitely will be removing this from, I do hope that you're able to see. I'll definitely be removing this from my fish. And then to remove this, let me just pull this there. All you need to do is you just use a knife which I'm using because I don't have this flat it is a little complicated I totally forgot to show you guys the fish after I remove the large bone from it but it's like really quick and easy. Now I'm adding in my yams.
I'm washing my hands to add two little So now I'm just quickly adding in because this doesn't a take a lot yam, which I bought. Soup. It's like a really just quick go-to soup because the fish is not hard to cook, worse you're boiling it. So I'll just be adding in a few little spinners that you rub with your hands and I just drop them in. And this is just so I have something to at least fill me up <laughs> because the soup is just like broth. So once I add this in, then I'll be adding in my noodles. Then I will season up with my green onion, which is escalion and some thyme. And then I'll taste my pot to make sure it tastes the way how I want it to taste. If not, then you can add a little all-purpose seasoning in it or maybe a chicken bouillon. Or if you have fish seasoning, you can add your fish seasoning in it. So quickly, I'll add this in. I don't want the video to be too long. So I'll be adding in my fish noodles and I might use two packs instead of one. Hey guys, welcome back. So my soup is done and I will dish. There you go. Hello. And so then I'll soup. allow to boil. So what? stay tuned when it looks like. There you can see fish in it. I won't do like a lot, but I'll let you see what my fish tea looks like. And of course, I'm going to add my scotch bonnet pepper in it. It has lots of fish because it wasn't really like uh it's hot so here's the texture of it there you can see my fish tea again thank you for tuning in to this video if you haven't yet subscribed please make sure you hit that subscribe button Hit the notification bell so you get notified each time I upload a new video. Make sure you like the video. Please leave a comment if you have questions or concerns. I will definitely respond to you. Again, thank you to all my new subscribers. Stay blessed. Be good. See you soon in my next video.